probably should have recorded while spraying, but I I cannot multitask to save my life. Anywho, spray the flat black over the salt. Let the water dry. You know, almost to it's like almost gone. As with waterborne paint, it, yeah, it keeps it soft. This is water reducible, so it'll basically try to break down the paint. If I touch it now, it'll just move and come right off. Kind of like sticky still. I messed up. I didn't spray the under the under lip first. I was supposed to spray the inside of the lip and this edge here first. I didn't. I sprayed the top first, and now I'm trying to spray underneath it. I don't know if you can see any of that. I sure as hell can't. But I'm tr basically trying to hit the edge now on the inside all over them here. Because I fucked up. But it's alright. <laughs> the side stays like, exposed to whatever or whatever the hell. I guess it'll just add a little bit to the effect. It's pretty hot out here. You can, I hope you can see that. I don't know if you guys can see that, that red, that's where the salt has moved. That's basically what it's going to look like when I remove the salt. But when I remove the salt, I'll brush it off with a dirty little brush that I use just for this ice chest so I don't get no contamination. Nothing oily, never use anything oily with paint. Well, this is oil-based paint. But still, I don't know what it would do. Mm -hmm. There's my loud-ass compressor. That's the update.